made up with in fourth place. Yes, I know. I mean, I was wanting to maybe sneak a medal and to actually see it as I was finishing. It was a bit tough, but so why not give it all my all? You know? Couldn't really ask for anything more. Performance, I couldn't give any more. Would you have taken it? You know, you know, for the fourth before, right? Nah, I was winning a medal. I think everyone, when you, I knew I could be close to a medal, so have that in your mind. And, but so quality athletes today, and usually the big guys don't quite turn up, but they all turned up today. So it was pretty tough. How was yeah. the form fitness coming in? It was actually good. I ended up my antibiotic before my last race. Uh, I finished them like a few days before. So 27 degrees and on antibiotics doesn't really mix well, but I had to go out and race and unfortunately I dropped, had to drop out because I was very close to heat stroke. But the next week I came out and cracked 7 by 3 k with K-Float, best ever. So I knew I was fit. Yeah, yeah. How tough were the race conditions today? Um, it was surprisingly hot towards the end. You could really feel it, but I was being proactive for that and I'll throw more. I know it was only 18 degrees, 18, 20 degrees, but for a marathon that's quite hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's the best British performance, equals the best ever British performance for World Championships. Yeah, I think I'll probably run it the same way as John Brown as well, coming through. But, yeah, it's just, I got annoyed being able to see it with 200 to go, but I gave him up, I couldn't catch him in the end. Was it just a feeling you just run out of road, basically? Nah, because the last 5k I think it was the same distance the whole way. I maybe should have maybe held him a bit closer when that big move went, but that was, was a huge move. I mean, at the point when it went, I was like, I didn't even think I could finish with the way I was. I didn't have much effort I had to, to even hold it, but yeah, going to the last lap, I just got an extra bar when Gucci came up and just felt strong and went, so I sort of went strength to strength. I'm glad you didn't go with them, like, the way you felt like running with Dale was the best way to get that. Yeah, I mean, that move was, if I'd went there, I probably wouldn't have finished. It was huge. Well, I, I would have finished, but it wouldn't, not as good, and I would have been almost walking towards the end. It was, it was huge. But, I have a feeling that you live with, the, live with these guys now, and you can compete with them going forward. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I thought going into it, I could compete with them. Uh, maybe need a few more years. I'm still only 25, so. I know the boy won't he's pretty young though, so I've still got him to contend with in the years. But just see how it goes, go on to Commonwealth Games and then on to Tokyo. Plans. With Mo stepping up to the, to the marathon next year, it's going to be a pretty exciting domestic ride. Yeah, yeah, but hopefully he'll be seeing my back. But nah, he's a quality athlete now. Hopefully it'll be a good head to head. It'll also bring a hell of a lot of attention to the marathon, won't it? Yeah, Even more. I mean, hopefully, yeah. It'll be definitely on the British side anyway. I mean, he's a big name in the, in the world. And he's, done a lot and brought a lot of attention to British running which is good and yeah, hopefully there's, I think there's a few coming up the wings that are behind them that are going to fill in these places. I've got Josh coming through now actually so I'll just go back. Thanks very much.